Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my empties for the month of January and let me tell you I have a lot of empties to get through. Um, it is actually like the 20 fourth when I'm filming this just because this my bin is like literally so full I can't fit anything else in it so I'm gonna call it the end of the month right now um but yeah I usually film these like the beginning of the next month after so I've really gone through a lot of stuff this month and yeah I'm really excited to show you guys so just keep watching I do also just want to say if you're new here hi welcome um I do a lot of Bath and Body Works content I do body care candles you name it, I do it, and I do a little bit of vlogging too, so if you are interested in all that stuff, then go ahead and subscribe down below. So, I've got this box like pretty much full of stuff, so I'm gonna just start taking stuff out. I usually try to organize everything, but this is like so much I can't even fit it all on my desk, so we're just, we're just gonna start. So, the first thing I have is this Derma E Scalp Relief Conditioner. Um, I think I finished the shampoo in this last month or maybe the month before. Um, but yeah, I really love this brand. Um, I had the shampoo and conditioner and while I was using it, it really helped with my scalp. I have like a dry itchy scalp and this like definitely helped a lot. I still have like a little bitty bit left, but I, I couldn't get it out, out for the life of me. So this is an empty, but I really, really like this and I might purchase it again. So I have a few more conditioners to get through before I purchase another one, but I might get that one again. Um, the next thing I have is the iced cinnamon roll hand soap from Bath and Body Works. This smelled so good. We had this in our bathroom downstairs. Mm, it smells just like super, super yummy. It smells like cinnamon rolls and orange, like an orange glaze on top of them or something, but this was really yummy and I'm starting to really fall in love with the foam hand soap formula. So that was really good. Um, the next thing I have, another hair thing, is the Briogeo Be, Be Gentle Be Kind Avocado Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. I used this actually today in the shower. It's a hair mask and it smelled so good. It literally smelled like yogurt. Like it smelled like some Greek yogurt that I've had before. I don't know. But I definitely think it worked. My hair feels super soft today. Um, Briogeo is such a good brand, honestly, but I, I would have to check on how much this mask costs because I'm not sure I'd be willing to spend that kind of money, but it was really good uh, to use this little foil and to have that to try. Okay, another hair thing in here is the Love Beauty and Planet Charcoal and Bergamot Shampoo Scrub. I absolutely adored this. I'm definitely going to repurchase it. Um, it is basically like a charcoal scrub for your scalp and it has these little black dots in it if you can see and that's the charcoal i think or maybe it's yeah it's the charcoal in there and i honestly loved this it made my shower super messy but it was definitely worth it for like getting my scalp in check i i really really love this and it's really cheap i think they only sell it on target's website though i haven't i like tried to find it on amazon and walmart and they only have it on target's website so i don't know what that is about but yeah found that and then I have the Tony Moly I'm Green Tea Sheet Mask. I think this made me break out. <laughs> so probably not going to get this again. I think it made me get like those little mini bumps that you get sometimes. Like when you have an allergic reaction to some skincare. So I don't think I'm going to get that again. Maybe the green tea doesn't agree with my skin. I don't know. That was not fun. So <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, another hair thing I see. We've got the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I really, really love this. Um, I was going to repurchase it, but I decided to get, um, what brand is this? Girls with Curls? Or no? Yeah, Girls with Curls brand. That's what I have sitting like literally right next to me um, for my other type of like curling cream. Um, but I would definitely consider repurchasing this. I've tried this before and the... Um, curl gel souffle i love both of those i just really love shea moisture like they have really good products so i would probably purchase this again i just i just didn't happen to but i will definitely you know look for that that brand again um okay some skincare 
I have the Mary Kay cleanser. This is the number two line from the botanicals. So this is like a, um, it's supposed to be good for sensitive skin. It's like earth friendly and all that kind of stuff, but um, it's for sensitive skin and for dry skin. So I do really like this. Um, I think I might try some other things before I go back to it, but I've used this for a very long time and never had any problems with it. Um, and then along the same lines, I have the moisturizer from that same exact line. I really like it. It's just like super simple. So I might go back to it later after I try a few things. Okay, another hair product. I have the Moroccan Gold Series Treatment Mask, another leave-in conditioner um, in the shower, a leave-in hair mask. I mean, you wash it out, not a leave-in, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, another hair mask. I got this in a FabFitFun, I think last February, so like last spring. Really, really liked it. It was super moisturizing. It smelled good. It smelled like, like good hair products. Um, so yeah, I just finished this entire tub. It took me about a year, so that was pretty good. Another skincare item is the Black Cleanse and Exfoliate Charcoal Wipes. I got this also, I think, in a FabFitFun. Maybe that same spring one. Um, I didn't like these because they have like beads on the back of them. Well, first off, I don't like to use makeup wipes because they're bad for the environment and they're just like single use and all that jazz. So I didn't like that to begin with. But also these are charcoal and I feel like I don't want to put charcoal on my eyes. Maybe that's just me. Um, and then it also on one side of the wipe there was like little beads so you could exfoliate like it says. But I don't know. I just used it to like get off crazy lipsticks and that was like the extent of that. And if I was like swatching stuff I'd wipe it off with this but I'm not going to repurchase those. Um, okay let's move into candles. So I have quite a few. Um, I have the Spiced Gingerbread from last year. This was in um, my project Use It Up for the winter time. So very happy to have finished this. Here are the progress lines. So it started about a little more than halfway. I got here in a month and then here in the last month. It kind of, near the end, some of the wicks burned longer than the others. So it looks kind of odd. It didn't fully pull out near the end, but yeah, I liked this candle. I mean, I think I really only wanted it for like December um, and like burning it in January was kind of weird because it's so, so like spicy. Um, and I would say this is like a light medium throw too. It's not very high throwing. So yeah, but I, I think I'll get another gingerbread candle next year. Just like I need to know that I'll, I should finish it within the month of December because I won't really want to burn it after that. Um, I have this random one. This is a DW Holmes and um, Ray Dunn candle. This is in warm cashmere and it says stay cozy. So cute. I'm definitely going to clean this out um, and keep it to like store stuff in like maybe my brushes or something. Um, but dang, did this suit like, soot like crazy suit. <laughs> But dang, did this soot like crazy. Look at that on the inside. I'm gonna have to clean this out good. Um, but it smelled so good. I don't know what it is about warm cashmere, but that smells amazing. It smells so good. So yeah, if I ever find warm cashmere from a DW Home Candle again, I will definitely get it. And I'm just gonna like clean this out and keep it for use later. But that was a really, really good candle. I have the Bath & Body Works Pumpkin Peanut Brittle from this past fall. This was so good. This was so good. It's crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, toasty pumpkin, toasted pumpkin seeds. Um, this was also in my, what's it called? No, this was in my wax project. So this is where it started. It didn't even start like with a lot left, you know? I probably had like five more burns in it, but... Oh. This smells so good. Near the end, I kind of moved it around so it like dried really weird, but oh, I will definitely repurchase this again next year. This is literally so yummy. It's like Ritz crackers and peanut butter. It's so good. I, oh, I loved that. So I will definitely repurchase that again next year. I might even just get like two next year so I can have one for like later on in the year. Cause I feel like it's not like an exclusively fall candle. I could burn that whenever and be like totally fine, so. Okay, let's continue with Bath & Body Works. So I have the Frosted Cranberry Shower Gel. Um, this was also my project, use it up for, um, this is the first month of use, second month of use, and third month of use. So really happy to have finished this up. Frosted Cranberry is just a nice, like, fruity, juicy scent. Um, 
it wasn't anything special but I didn't hate it so I'm, I'm happy that I tried it I probably don't need to have it again in a shower gel or in like a full-size body care maybe just like a hand lotion or you know something small like that but and then I've got a mini here mini shower gel and hot cocoa and cream this was in my project use it up I used it up in the past month so it started right about here with no use and I used it up in a month um hot cocoa and cream it's really good it just smells like straight up chocolate or I guess it smells like swiss miss like the packet of hot chocolate but I don't think I would ever purchase this in a full-size body care but I really liked having it for like the two weeks that I used this and I also finished off the body cream the mini body cream so and yes I did cut it open because it was so hard it's almost harder to squeeze out the mini body creams than it is to squeeze out the full-size body creams it was so hard to get that last bit out so I just cut it open but yeah finished off the mini um, body cream too and I would consider getting it again in minis but I definitely don't think I need it in like a full size I feel like after two weeks of chocolate I was like burnt out so <laughs> glad that I had it for just that amount of time okay this is something I'm really proud of it's the um, coffee and cream body scrub this was so delightful to use I honestly loved it look how like gross and goopy it looks it was literally the color of black coffee it smelled like you were brewing coffee I loved this because I usually just do a body scrub like every Saturday or every Sunday and so it was really nice to like on my pamper days like have this like I was having a cup of coffee I don't know it was really awesome and I know not a lot of people got to try this it was only in stores for like a short time and only online for a very short time so I'm really lucky that I got to try this and I absolutely loved it and I still have a few of the um, vanilla mocha cafe body care products so i'm just really oh, this was amazing i love coffee scents so very sad to see this go but i was so happy while using it so okay i have two shaving creams i didn't really need to show you guys this but yeah i just use the skin to mint um shaving creams i usually get the ones that say like dry skin or like sensitive skin so that's that um okay let's finish off the bath and body work stuff i've got the frosted coconut snowball hand cream this was also in my project use it up this didn't take me long to use i use about one a month um so one a month of hand creams so yeah and frosted coconut snowball it's not my favorite scent but i definitely liked it while i was using it i don't feel like it's wintry um but yeah i liked it i probably would get it again in like this or like a pocket bag but i don't think i need it in the body care um speaking of pocket bags i have three pocket bags so this one my mom actually finished it is santa's favorite mary mango it's like beat up because she had this in her purse um but it's like santa riding a unicorn we got this at the sas um in the last summer so 2020 summer sas um, I don't know why mango is like a winter scent, but yeah. The next one is Stay Magical Unicorn Petals. This one was kind of florally, um, so we didn't use this up very quickly, but this is also from the summer SAS from last year. And then Pumpkin Apple, which I finished up with a little, little doggy right here. He's so cute. So I don't think I like Pumpkin Apple that much, honestly. Um yeah i don't think i'd get it again it's just like so overwhelmingly pumpkin apple no it's so overwhelmingly appley so yeah i don't think i'll get it again but it was nice to use like during the fall but i really mainly used it like last month so okay and the next thing i have is um what was this this was leaves this is a car scent portable and then i replaced it with twisted peppermint so twisted peppermint is in my car right now Twisted peppermint is not strong at all. Leaves lasted me. Maybe I put it in in like September and it lasted me until December. So that was a really good scent. Um, and then twisted peppermint. I don't know. It doesn't really smell that strongly, but I still smell it every now and then. So I'll leave it in for a few months, but I'll probably change that out pretty soon. So the next thing I have is the Huda Beauty Kayali Vanilla 28 Perfume. Um, so if you've seen this brand at Sephora before, I, oh my gosh, I really love this perfume. Like I'm considering getting a full size of it once I go through a few more of my perfumes, but it smelled so good. It literally just smelled like warm vanilla and it stayed on my body for a very long time. It mixed with my body temperature and stuff really well. 
I really loved that perfume. Um, and then I have uh, like the last, I think, skincare item, right? Is this Clear Proof Mary Kay Blemish Control Toner with salicylic acid. I kind of use this every time like I had some breakouts and stuff and yep, just finished off another mini. I don't know why I had this toothpaste in there, but here's some Peridontax toothpaste. It's supposed to be good for your gums, so that was nice. I used it like right before I went to my dentist and they said that I had very healthy gums. So I usually use Sensodyne, but I used that because we just had it, so yeah, that was good. So the next thing I have is the CoverGirl Brow Gel. This is the Easy Breezy Brow Gel in the shade Medium. I liked this, um, but I kind of have figured out that I prefer a clear brow gel versus like a colored brow gel. Um, and this, okay, this didn't actually hold my brows in place that well, so I don't know. I won't repurchase it again, but I don't think it was bad. I just, it's not my preference. Um, I have some makeup in here. So, okay, I have two mascaras that I decluttered because they are over like three or four months old and you're supposed to switch out your mascaras every three months. So I have the Mary Kay Lash Love Fanorama. Seriously loved this. This made my lashes look like naturally fluttery and it was really, really pretty. And then I have the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. This was like super gloopy and clumpy and wet. I don't like wet mascaras. Do you know what I mean? Like wet mascaras, I hate those. So this was not a favorite of mine. Um, I usually use this and then put the Mary Kay one on top of it. So yeah, not gonna repurchase that one. I think I got it in like a boxy charm anyway, so I didn't even purchase it to begin with. But the next thing I have is the Stila Shimmer and Glow in the shade Starlight. So I've been finishing, finishing these off about one a month. Um, and this one just dried out on me. I had been using it pretty much every day for the past like three weeks for work, um, but it's just too dry to keep using now. So I'm gonna have to declutter it. I used it a lot, which is good. Like you can see, I probably used about half of it before it dried up. Um, maybe you can't tell, but yeah, I used about half of it before it dried up. So at least I used it, but yeah, I need to get better about my cream eyeshadows, like using those before they go bad, so okay. Speaking of things that go bad, um, I have two eyeliners that I decluttered because they're just too old. They don't perform like they used to, they're dry, so yeah. So the first one is the Essence um, Kajal Eye Pencil in White. Yeah, this was good when I first got it. Um, it was never very smooth to begin with, so I probably won't repurchase the like Essence Kajal Eye Pencils because they aren't very smooth. Um, the next one I have is the NYX Faux Blacks in the shade Burnt Sienna. This is like a burgundy kind of shade. I had this in my monochromatic project pan. I posted that on my Instagram. It's like once every month of 2021, you have a different color. So uh, January was like plum purple. And so I tried to use this, but like after the second use, I realized how dry it was and I had to like scrape it on my eye. It was so dry. So I'm just gonna declutter it cause I'm not, I'm not trying to like hurt myself and I'm not also not trying to get styes from using old eye creams or not eye creams eye pencils so i'm just gonna declutter it but i do really like the nyx um eye pencil formulas and they are usually like very they glide on very well very easily so i will consider buying nyx eye pencils in the future just had to declutter that one i have some um nail polishes actually that i decluttered so i have this is funky fingers from five below it's like this glitter it's white pink and orange glitter i don't know why i thought that would be cute i think i thought for like the summertime i would use it nope never really used it this is the color club mood changing nail lacquer i remember this was on sale at walmart one time when i was in college and i just thought it looked cool it's a neon pink and i would never wear that so decluttering it um it's also not a good formula so there's that and then i have the sinful colors nail polish in cinderella it really does look like like cinderella's dress it's like shimmery um it has glitter in it but i never use blue nail polishes like i barely ever use them so i decluttered that one and then we have the essie nail polish in mark on miami i always get these at like marshall's and tj maxx the Essie nail polishes. I'm never gonna pay $11 for nail polish, but it is literally a neon orange. So decluttering that because I will never wear that. And then the last thing that I'm also decluttering because it went bad is the Mario Badescu 
drying lotion. So I used to use this on like pimples. Remember when this was all the rage like three or four years ago? Yeah, that's how old this is. <laughs> so um, definitely decluttering it. It never worked for me to begin with to dry my pimples. So, well, okay, no, it worked like the first six months to dry my pimples and then after that it never worked so i just left it in my skincare drawer and didn't use it until it went bad so now i'm decluttering it so that's everything for the empties and the decluttered stuff um sorry if i was talking super fast i just knew there was a lot to get through and i'm looking at my camera i'm already at 22 minutes so yeah i've been filming for a long time so i'm sorry if this video is super long but hopefully you enjoyed it um let me know down below something that you're super proud of finishing up this past month i think i'm proud of the three candles that i finished like that's a big accomplishment for me to finish three candles in one month. So yeah, very proud of that. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.